This is what I signed up for. Back away. I don't want no smoke, bro. I'm sorry. I ain't even mean to crash y'all party like that. Right? Yo, what's going on, you guys? It's your boy RBG, aka the Random Black Gamer. Here are my lovely wife, Jenna Lee, on the ones and twos, and this is We Ain't See the Reactions, the place where we have to every everything, bro. <laughs> everything that we ain't never seen. See, this is what happens when I know we're on a tight, like, schedule right now. We are on a tight schedule. We're not even gonna talk about it in this video. Yeah, um, guys, it is time to step into brand new terrain, a brand new route. A brand new series of I mean, Fate Zero, even though this isn't brand new, but it's new to us. You know, that's why I'm saying it like that. It's new to us, but we're familiar enough with the Fate series, I guess, after starting the first stay night. Yes, you hated us from the beginning, and then you've grown to love us. You've even called us Chad for attempting to watch one of the least favorable Fate franchises, which is Fate Stay Night 2006. Which isn't the best, you know, it's not you foldable quality work, you know, it's from another studio that didn't really do it justice apparently to you guys. But for the most part, I really enjoyed that, you know what I'm saying? I like the ending. It was epic. The animation quality got better as the series progressed, so I was fine with it. What did you think about that? I did not enjoy it. You did not enjoy it. Yeah, but um, kudos to that series. There was a lot of debating going on which one we should watch next, and we ultimately came to the decision to watch Fate Zero. I don't necessarily mind that you guys say that it's going to spoil certain things that we will see up in Fate Unlimited Blood Works. I think that's Blade Works, Blade works or Blood Works, Mud Butts. Um, <laughs> <laughs> like I think you, some of you guys say that they kind of spoil each other so it's like a pre pro quo kind of thing it's like a risk reward so that's that is what it is you know I'm just eager to see how this one stands out compared to the previous one we watched so we ain't gonna waste any more time there you go bless you we gonna go ahead and jump to this for Johnny sneeze her damn head off her allergy shoulders. season yeah, so this is going to be episode one, Summoning Ancient Heroes, and this is a 40-minute episode. God damn. Bless you. My allergies would try to start acting up soon. We got to do something. I know, right? It's a bad premonition. And we're going to be watching this in dub. But I hope I like this. And yeah, we're watching this in dub, guys, so if you don't like it, you can get book out. But here we go. Is that Rin? She has your eyes too. Wait a minute. She's beautiful. I'm so happy that I could give birth to her. Is this zooming in or okay, I'm about to say I don't even have that. Oh I, I will be the cause of your death. I think that's Lila. Lila's mom. Who? Elia, whatever her name is. Elia? I know. Elia von whatever her name is. Baskanovich? It is the very reason I exist. When I came to know your ideas, I made your wish my own. You made me who I am today. You have guided me on my path. Kiritsuko, don't forget. You're striving to make a whole new world where no one cries. This is what your whole life has been about. Eight more years, and your fight will come to an end. And our idea will become reality. Eight more years? The Holy Grail will save you. I'm certain of it. So, so big as big. Elias Beale. Yeah. Hold her close. Hold her. So hold that's his mom. biological uh, child, then, ain't that? What's the name's dad? Who? The main character, the last. Shiro? Yes, yeah, Shiro. I thought Shiro's dad, Ilya's dad, and Ren's dad all looked like the same person. Hey, maybe that is what it is, you know what I'm saying? I, I don't know. That's cool. Think Zero. And all my children will return after these messages. Stigmata, bestowing upon you the power to command a servant. Kire Kotamine. This dude. 
The holy Maybe Grail. we should have watched the other one the first. For an ancient relic that why do you say that? Because they said it was from Ren's the perspective, then that might explain why this deck was chosen thing. by the Grail. It was like everyone's father. Are experienced and accomplished. Oh man, I mean, it, that, it that's what you want to do. For someone like you, who has no connection to magic whatsoever, to be chosen to participate. Heroic servants. I still find it strange to command the summoned spirits of ancient heroes to fight as familiars. Of course, I know all this can be very difficult to believe, but heroes from every age and nation will come back to life in the modern world, killing one another to vie for supremacy. That is the Holy Grail War. Also, there is an unspoken agreement among yeah, all This definitely the feels more like a prequel to, ensure rules <coughs> Someone of the Holy to the one we previously watched. Yeah, because old dude is still alive. Gotta be. Judging. A secret battle between godless magicians? A mage's association member would be too partial to one party to assure fairness. Perhaps it's time we got to the point. Got my boy Ruga over here from King of Fighters. Spoken up thus far is just the official background of the Holy Grail War. However, there is an additional reason I've introduced you to Mr. Tokyo Mitosaka here today. And what would that be? Actually, we found proof a long time ago that the Holy Grail that they finna jump you, my G. Is not the sacred relic that belonged to the Son of God. So I gathered. Otherwise. In order to retrieve it would have been given to us of the Eighth Sacrament Assembly. Be that as it may, Fuyuki's Holy Grail is far too powerful to ignore. It is an omnipotent wish-granting device. Who knows what disaster it could unleash should it happen to fall into the wrong hands. Okay. In which case, the best course of action would be to ensure that the Fuyuki Grail falls into the right hands. Hands that would not misuse it. Who knows what dark desire they may harbor for the power of the Grail should they obtain it. That being said, I assume that the goal of my participation is to ensure Tokio Mitosaka's victory rather than to prevail myself. Wow. To achieve that, so this guy was doomed to fail. I'm zoned out. The appearance of us being enemies. I'm confused. However, we will actually be working together in total secrecy to soundly defeat the other five masters and assure our victory in the end. And so, Kirei, you will be officially transferred from the church to the Mages Association, where you will become my student. The official orders have already been issued. You must go to Japan and study the principles of magic, and become a mage of sufficient strength and skill to command a servant in the Holy Grail War in three years' time when the battles begin. <laughs> Boy, it took you that long to take and one raggedy sip of that drink. Do you drink. have any questions <laughs> for us, Kine? Only one. How exactly does the Holy Grail go about selecting its masters? What kind of criteria does it use? I'm told that in the past, there were cases where command seals appeared on those whom you would never have expected. Oh, I think I understand. You're still puzzled at being chosen to be a master by the Grail, aren't you? I didn't expect Kirei to give his consent so quickly. My son would jump into fire if the Holy Church ordered him. I wonder if they... To be honest, is this the similar... Do you even have a similar motive? Perspective, he's being drawn into a because their objective is to keep to anyone from performing any no, nefarious things with the Holy Grail. This ordeal will do but so this nigga, as we've seen in the last one... My son lost his wife. I believe that a complete change of scenery and a difficult new mission to focus on may be exactly what he needs to nurse his wounds. Oh no. We'll see. Maybe his goals are different in this one. You talking about the, the, the dude that was in the red? Hi, the dude in the red. Yeah, the dude that was in the red too. What about what about him? That's the first time we've saw this nigga. I'm talking about the nigga that was he walking. He said that was Kodamine. This yeah, hold on. Time. Ain't that the pastor? Yeah, the pastor. That's what I'm saying. They entrusted him to do the right thing, but so I'm, that wait, Kodamine is a y'all look, man. Shoot, I couldn't tell you what was going on with this, even if I wanted to. I have no clue what the hell is happening right now. I have no idea who is who. Here, the dude that was circling was Kodamine. Um. Thank you, Uncle Kari. You 
Welcome. That's rain, ain't it? Welcome, Rain. I'm glad you like it. Where's Sakura? Yeah, her and Sakura were childhood friends. That's Sakura's gone now. <sighs> the head of the Tosaka family decided to give our ancient allies, the Matos, that which they requested. It wasn't my place to speak out. You're all right with that? When I married into the Tosaka family, when I decided to marry a mage, I knew what might be required of me. And you're all right with that? The reality is that a clan bearing mage blood can never expect to enjoy the happiness of a normal family. That's not true! When you married him, you wanted happiness. You wanted- Enough! This is between the Tosakas and the Matos. You left the world of mages a long time ago. This doesn't concern you. Damn. <laughs> Just disrespect right now. If you get the chance to see Sakura again, please be kind to her. Yeah. I think this is the guy that you adopted the Tosaka rented the house out to uh, Shiro. Could be somebody else though. I thought his dad was the one that had on that house and left it to him when he died. You of all people, tell me whose fault do you think it is for our present reduced circumstances? Kaguya, had you only agreed to carry on the family name and to learn the secrets of the Mato, things would never have gotten this bad and that little girl would still be with her mother. You're not fooling anyone, you vampire. You only <laughs> want the grail to give yourself eternal youth. You just want to live forever. Boy, hopefully he make himself look better than that because he look good. Hot years now. He do, money ain't got no eyebrows and then... But the Matos have no pawns yet to offer for the fourth Holy Grail war. Though you have it inside you, your brother Byakuya lacks the power needed to control the servant. But even if we forfeit this round, we could still win the next in 60 years if we prepare ourselves. You ain't gonna be bit. The Tosaka girl's war will one day bear us a powerful mage, one who could prevail. She has a lot of potential, that one. She could be the key. So then, in other words, if you can get your hands on the Grail, you won't need Sakura Tosaka anymore. In a day in your life, you actually believe that in a single year you'll achieve the power to control a servant? You have the secret magic to make that happen, and you know it. Using your special worm techniques. Worm techniques? So, you can implant me with your crest worms. Kaguya, you want to die. The motto should rely on themselves to gain what they want. I won't let anyone else get involved. Surely, you're not concerned for my well-being, father. <laughs> If what you're trying to do is keep her out of all this, Katia, I'm afraid you're a little late. You bastard. <laughs> you didn't. Oh, wow. That damn. For the first three days in there, she did nothing but constantly scream her head off. She's broken. She what floor, kind of R. Kelly ritual? Early this morning, I threw her down into the worm pit to see just how long she lasts. Wow. She's been in there for over 12 hours and she's still breathing. Bruh, turn it off. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Sakura, what will you do now? She's a little Sakura the one with the purple hair. Yeah. And violated by words. You won't renege on your words, Okamato. You can start by serving as their breeding ground for a week. It's a pretty good CGI. I can see that you're actually serious. Yeah. You keep my word completely. Nothing else matters. This is because magic will not yield up her secrets in a single generation. A parent passes on the fruits of a lifetime of magical training to his child. Thus, the older the family of mages, the greater their power ultimately becomes. A student from this class submitted a fascinating paper to me yesterday. Huh? How wizardry should be in the new century. Look at this shit in English and everything. Who in the world is this? Barry Snodder. understanding of the techniques and precise control over mana application, it would allow one to overcome any difference in inherent ability. In short, even someone with diluted blood could, through his own efforts, become a master mage. To be honest, I've learned something from this paper. Silence, please. 
We got Draco Malfoy over here. Right? <laughs> God damn, just shit on my nigga stuff, man. This is a hard and unchanging reality of this world. Even for you, Waver Velvet, I am very, very disappointed that one of my students... Whoever it is, he's an asshole. <laughs> this fucking Sir, professor. I was only trying to raise a question the Mages Association has become too reluctant to address... Mr. Velvet, if I recall correctly, your family has produced mages for only three generations. Isn't that right? Listen to me. Three generations is a little bit of time. You got 60 years. Yes. Your family is no more than a newborn baby. Don't you think a baby should learn to speak before it tries to voice an opinion? Well, get this asshole off the screen. Right. You made a fool of me. Son the fuck out of this nigga. <laughs> you done made this nigga Bob all crooked. Bob's ass is afraid of my talent. So it seems that all the rumors about that bastard Kenneth Archibald preparing to fight in some kind of mages tournament in the Far East soon are true. Where are they at? He said the Far East, so some of these people, they cannot be in Japan. Oh, they can't. According to the legend, two they don't have Japanese ago, names. The Einsburns, the Makiris, and the Tosikas, collectively known as the three first families, worked together to summon the Holy Grail, said to have the power to grant any wish, and eventually succeeded. But the Holy Grail would only grant one of the family supplications. Their cooperation quickly turned to violent and bloody conflict. Archer, Saber, Lancer, Rider, Assassin, Ooh. Caster. Right? Why do they look so sexy in these poses? I didn't think they looked sexy, but I thought the they looked cool, though. The servants, guided by their masters, fight each other to the death in secret battles. Whose voice is this? Oh, no. I've heard it before. So it appears that this Grail War is a battle of pure strength. Their stupid titles and influence mean absolutely nothing. That looks like it's the perfect place for me. Okay, I thought something. I was like, that Why? dude must not know anything about the Grail the Grail Wars. Who oh, that Draco Malfoy was a dude? I don't know. I thought he was playing it down because this dude knows too much. Or that, or that. Trying to son him and make him right, look stupid. Right, right. Nobody else right in that room probably home. knew about that shit. Right, so they was gonna laugh, but he knew the truth. What is that? Is that uh, Archer's cloth? That was his girlfriend's draw that was towed up. Mm. She sent him to him. Oh, wow. The man I thought he was ill as dead. That guy is. Well, no, not him. They this all, guy is They is. all look alike! The man known as the Mage Killer. Yeah, this dude, that's Shiro's dad. I think him. We finally found the other India, dude isn't Shiro's dad? I don't think so. If you use it as a castle, you'll be able to summon what is widely considered the strongest of all known sword wielding servants. Kiritsuko. Saber. This is the greatest gift the Einsburn can offer to the man who is working in service to our needs. Thank you, Elder. I am honored. This time, there are two people. That looks like Dumbledore. You are hmm. to hunt down the six other servants and eliminate them and fulfill the third magic, Heaven's Feel. Yes, sir. Kiritsugu Emiya. Yeah, Emiya. Yes, I know that name. See, they're like rivals. The Holy so the one that was just at the church was Emiya. Yeah. Kiritsugu Emiya, the mage. Yeah, Shiro's dead. Okay, so that other I'm young sure dude with black hair, we just don't know who that is. But the higher ups found him, shall we say, convenient for their own purposes. Okay, it's helped me out a little bit. To me like he was sense. quite similar to us, executioners for the Holy Church. Far worse, I assure you. He spent his life as a freelance master assassin who specializes in exterminating mages. He knows what mages are capable of, so he deals with them in a way that is as unlike a mage as possible. So, okay. Read that. Yeah. Well. You just barely made it. If the Grail has chosen you, that must mean that you've made at least some progress. Oh, this nigga turning white. I want to know that too. Give you that he doesn't got away. No. 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 Like he stressed worms. out. The worms did the shit to him. Like Damn. Hell. Is your left leg he looked Uncle Amber at home. Let's dig it. What a terrible old man. Yeah. 
Now don't get angry. You know if you get the crest worms inside you worked up too much, they'll simply devour you. Either way, I'd give you perhaps a month at best before they do their damage and drain the life out of you. Poor guy. Plenty. Just what to face Sakura. Just I get that holy that grail. Be plenty of time. <laughs> Why does he sound like Maria, Archer? This is your present for surviving an entire year. I found the perfect relic. They have white hair. They do. Don't let your loving father's kindness go to waste. Wow. Okay, it's getting a little more interesting now. Okay. Is that what's going on? Uh, it's like, how was he a participant, like a, a master, and then became a servant? I just. The mm. chose me as a master. Mm -hmm. My incredible talents has been recognized by the Grail. Was not Archer's eyes like that color? That. I can't just I guess so. grayish. I have I to prepare to summon my servant. I want to know what this nigga's connected tie is to. Because his bob wig is not on point. It is. Got that Edna emo. <laughs> right? <laughs> Dear, how did you sleep? Joseph Joestar. <laughs> Daddy? <laughs> getting bad these days. That's exactly yes, what he looked like. Is. By the way, Martha, it's very strange. I've heard roosters making a big racket since the sun came up this morning. What's that all about? It's because there are three roosters in our yard. What are they doing there? I don't know. I've been wondering where they might have come from. Oh, sweetie, you want some coffee? Mm hmm. Waiter, what happened to your hand? <laughs> that mark. What mark? The mark you of master. You had that mark on your hand yesterday. Oh, bugger. Oh, I really wish you hadn't noticed that. Oh, what's wrong, Waiter? I'm gonna kill us all. Nothing's <laughs> wrong. Here, have some coffee. I put lots of milk in it. Do you two like coffee? I poisoned it too, right. just for y'all. Right, I gotta eliminate you guys. That'll be my first sacrifice to get to where I'm going. Oh, wow, what the fuck? What a pain in the ass. I have to start their hypnosis all over again, starting from me being their grandson. He just hypnotized <laughs> his grandparents. What yeah, that's how the coffee was smart. Kid. <laughs> yeah, he's shit. She made you a good ass breakfast too. Those roosters I stole too. Wow. I can't believe they really found the legendary Excalibur scabbard. Nice. There's not a scratch on it. Mm. Is this thing really 1,500 years old? The object itself is a type of conceptual weapon. It doesn't rust or degrade as ordinary physical objects do. Just like in the legend surrounding its existence, it heals its owner's wounds and halts the aging process. Of course, that's only when supplied with its original owner's mana. In other words, the master can use this in tandem with the summoned heroic spirit to protect himself during the course of a battle. That's just like you. What you're saying is that a tool is just a tool? That's right, I am. And that goes for the serving, too. Hmm. No matter how famous the heroic spirit, when summoned as a servant, they're nothing but a tool for their master. Thank God we're not going to see Anyone this selfless, heroic protag or, yeah, protagonist. To win this battle. He's going to be the polar opposite of Shiro. It's like they both have the same end game, though. But he's not. He's super not going to go goody. about it that way, right? I can appreciate that. He's not an, an idiot, unfortunately. Like Shiro kind of was being. Ah, did a wonderful job. None of our masters have something this powerful. We see about that. Hello. Heading out? Sounds like the same voice actress, they just kind of... That's right. I have to go to yeah. the Senjo family for a while. Same cadence and all. You're staying to fight alongside my father in the coming war, aren't you? That's why I'm here as his student. To help him and to learn from him. Kire, can I depend on you? No. <laughs> you promise to protect my father to the end? Will you <laughs> no. promise to keep him safe? I'm sorry, but that's impossible. If this battle were going to be simple enough that I could honestly make that promise, we wouldn't have to send you or your mother away from here to keep you safe and sound. I guess that means I just can't like you no matter what. Reem, you shouldn't just <laughs> yeah. blurt out what you're really thinking like that. 
people might start to cast aspersions on your father. He is the man who's educating you, after all. My father has nothing to do with it! Listen, Kire! If you somehow get sloppy and because of that my father gets hurt or worse, I'll show you no mercy, got it? Bro, you sit your case closed looking at now. She was just giving me a bit of encouragement before we said goodbye, ma'am. <laughs> Allow me. That big suitcase is far too heavy for you to carry alone. No, thank you. I'll carry it myself. Kide, do your best to take care of my husband. Please help him to achieve his desire. I will do my best. <sighs> hey, Sakura. Did I startle you? I know. Seems I lost a little bit of it to the worms that are inside me. I guess I'm just not quite as tough as you are. <laughs> Uncle Karia, you're turning into a different person, aren't you? Yeah, maybe. You know, I don't have to go to the worm pit again tonight. Yeah, I see. And she just lived a traumatized childhood. Yay! Right, she just was traumatized all up. Just all traumatized. Instead of you. Uncle Karia, are you going somewhere far away? Well, I have an important job that I need to Shame on all these people. Where's her brother? I don't have much time to mm -hmm. talk to you then. At least until I get back. I see. Hey, Sakura. When my job is finally over, you want to go somewhere and just have fun? With your mom and your sister, too. I don't have anyone I can call mom or sister. Grandfather said that I should just think of them like they never existed. Boy, what a shitty grandfather. <laughs> what? I see. Well, that sucks. What a terrible guy. is all over. Let's take Aoi and Rin from the Tosakas and go somewhere as far away from the ice cream. we can get. <clears throat> we can hang out and have fun. Like we used to. Does that mean I'll see them again? Yeah, you will. You have my word on that. I'm gonna assume this guy passed away in the war. Yeah! Because I'm starting and I don't think... <sighs> A freaking servant. I mean, master can turn into a servant, even though his hair turned white. I don't know, He's giving man. Giving me those archer vibes. I don't think that's how that works. We'll see. But I could be wrong. I just don't think I that's. I assume you've memorized the summoning spell correctly. Sure, very well. But I'm going to have to add two extra lines to Bruh, the What you gonna add? What do you mean? That I do really ridiculous simple, things to my own grandchildren. Because of your short time in training, your rank as a mage is somewhat lower than that of the other masters that the Grail has summoned. That will affect the servant's base abilities. This means we have to boost the servant's parameters by attempting to modify the servant's class as much as possible. Karia, to that end, I want you to add the affinity insanity to the servant you summoned today. Hmm. Who did he summon? Bill, 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 Bill. This nigga. Please school shooter, bro. He's giving me very school shooter vibes. For the elements, silver and iron, the foundation stone and the arch to a pax. And for my great I wanted to see them summon their people before the end of this the episode. Close the gates of four directions. Come forth from the crown and follow the forked road leading to the kingdom. Is a simple ritual like this? Really enough to summon a heroic spirit? Surprisingly, yes. You see, the summoning ritual doesn't require a big elaborate evocation. The actual summoning is performed. I think it should look clean. Itself. Right? He, and he would be in a church. Is to firmly this is like his is completely different than everybody else's. And to supply it with enough mana to take physical form. That should do it. Irie.
Are you worthy? Are you worthy? Let's go. <laughs> I guess that's the time they have left to reach the Holy Grail. Man, guys, that was a lot to take in, it man. It was a lot. A lot, a man. Lot. It's like at first I was a little confused, but I was just kind of putting the pieces together as I listened and kind of saw similarities between these characters compared to the ones we saw in Fate Stay Night 2006 edition. And yeah, it's as I suspected. This was more of a prequel. And you know, it's like I'm kind of like puzzled. I'm, I'm I'm a little torn because in a way, I want to base come in with preconceived notions based off of what I saw in 06. Right. Which I think is going to kind of hurt me in a way, but it can't be helped because we do have a documented relationship with these characters. We have seen these characters in action. We've seen some of their their goals and how they right. are. Right. I just we don't know if this is going to follow that or well, it seems like it that is. Follows this, but we don't know if that's what that. We, it seems like it. It does. So yeah, I know at first I was not happy about this at all because I'm not gonna lie, I did not really just like the last. I mean, one. this one in a way it feels more grand in scale compared to the last one. That's kind of seemed more cliche anime ish. It does, but I was like, I didn't. Being that I didn't just like the last one, I really didn't want to watch this. But um, <laughs> at first, I saw I was just like, bro, turn this shit off. But then, and plus, I was confused as hell. I was like, you know, they could say their names till they blew in the face, but I'm sitting there looking at them, and I'm like, why does everybody have black hair? Why yeah. does everybody look alike? I was so confused. Yeah, I know. So that. then, once they, I'm so glad he sat down and was reading their names in that book and like what they do, and I was like, oh, okay. Then I started to enjoy it a little bit more, but. Yeah, you, you hear similar names, and you're kind of like, yeah, you Whoa, put what's... two and two together. Who looks like who? Who, you know. Yeah, so then that makes sense. But then it started making sense. But now it's just like, yeah, it's more people seem like, or everybody's being revealed up front, seems yeah. like. Or most of everybody's being revealed up front. And you got some new characters. But the thing is, it's like, damn, do I already know how this went? Are they basing this off of the, you know, Fate Stay Night from 2006? And if so, it's like, it's like is, this, is the end game something I already know? Yeah, so, it, that's what it seems like. It's like if... 2006 is anything to go by you know it's not necessarily what people consider definitive i guess in terms of execution but i'm thinking in terms of story it might be definitive and it might be what will ultimately happen what they describe because this is the previous holy grail war that, that they constantly harped on you know what i'm saying right exactly right where gilgamesh some type of way made found a way to stay around and, and he made a pact with kamenate to or he kamenate showed him how to sustain himself as an individual as opposed to just being a servant you know he can go as he pleases you know we discovered that in the previous one he can chase uh saber down and try to you know take her booty and whatnot right exactly right yeah so i'm, I'm interested in seeing how things are gonna play i'm surprised you didn't recognize coming out you mean kodamine 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 yeah kodamine i don't know why i said coming out but kodamine i was yeah, like he has was... the the little cross on him like why do you not recognize this guy he's Look, the most I easily the dude in the red was called Amine at first somehow I don't know I thought that was somebody else and then I started realizing I was like oh Ren's dad has green eyes he has red right. red on okay it's easy to point out Ren's dad because of the jacket and the eyes to me but then I was just like you know in the in the little flashbacks that they would have of all their dads from the previous one we watched they will be enshrouded in mystery right even except Emmy's dad was the only one you got to see where everybody else's dad was enshrouded in mystery you just got to see the back of his head and he had black hair that was very similar right so now, but now you understand the connected like the connective tissue between, yeah I can get that at least I feel like that's what I'm yeah thinking. like yeah. Ilya and Shiro it's like they're like adoptive siblings in a way you know not necessarily blood related but it's interesting that Ilya is uh, related directly to um Emiya's dad yeah Emiya's dad which I'm Who just gonna call Emiya yeah this guy yeah. seems like he's just been a, a basically a, a drifter you know just kind of going I mean, on he about, gotta do what he gotta do to do whatever it is he doing yeah he and, don't care what it is you and, know yeah and it seems like he was more hardened back then than we're being introduced to him now but he found right. love and he actually kind of like bonded with this woman's family and i guess he's going to be working under their guys uh it's it's kind of interesting to see how that's going to play out because we already know 
he's been described as a hardened veteran who just right. does you know he just kills ridiculous stuff yeah but yeah i give that i give that an uh i give it an a okay yeah i'm gonna give it an a plus two i mean i was a little more immersed in it because these are new characters and i am so happy that emia's father is kind of like a stark contrast from him which is like oh let's do it. good save everybody you know because i want to see want you to be hurt yeah i'm gonna be a simp right i'm gonna fall in love with you saber right because we know that there's gonna be some kind of change within emia's father at the end at least you know because he does change later on in his life and he tells right. Shiro to protect as many people as possible so that's something that I'm interested in seeing and then we also have this other guy Kiryu or I'm, I'm, I forgot his name um Sakura's uncle I know you yeah. guys were saying something about there are certain spoilers and I don't I don't know because like I, I can't help but feel like this guy is what Archer was that's what I was thinking, but then I was like, I just don't think that works that way. I mean, it does. I mean, some of these characters are real. They existed in the world, but just in t different time periods. So you're telling me it's like right after <laughs> because he like, participated as a master, he going to die and become a servant. I just don't see that happening. I, it could, because I'm the one who thought of that at first. I was like, maybe that's him. Then I was like, no. Because I, I remember that, that episode where he, he died, you know, after performing Unlimited Blade Works. Some people were saying that, hey, you know, you guys missed the post credit stinger or something that exposed who he really was, but it was for the best that we did miss it and nobody wanted to say anything. So I, I appreciate the fake community for just Maybe being tight lipped about that. But yeah, man. But um, anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end it now. We got stuff we got to do, but be sure to provide context in the comment section below without spoiling anything. If we're on the right track or if you guys are even interested in us jumping into this one, I know some of you guys conflicted about that. But this is your boy RBG, a.k.a. The Random Black Gamer, here with my lovely wife, Jenna Lee, on the ones and twos. We ain't seen the reactions. Catch you guys for the next reaction to Fate Zero. Peace.